Um, uh, they basically what happened is Ubisoft recently released their um their stance on NFTs. And like, by the way, there were like a lot of like NFTs, NFT projects in like Minecraft. You know, it it was like very scummy and all that stuff. But but like Microsoft banned it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Let's, let's watch it. It wasn't long ago that Mojang straight up dropped the ban hammer on NFTs with Minecraft. This is the blog post where they made the okay. official announcement yep. that integrations of NFTs with Minecraft are generally not something we will support or allow. And good choice. Very good choice. Very good choice. NFTs are literally the scum of the earth. I'm, I'm, NFTs are, have no purpose they have no use. They have nothing. There's nothing good about them. There is nothing good about NFTs. Exactly. In gaming. Now, of course... Like, the thing is with NFTs, you buy them with real money. Like, you buy them with cryptocurrency. And, like, buying NFTs with cryptocurrency... Like, the thing is with crypto, like... With the dollar and all these currencies, you associate that with money. Like, you own the money. Like, it's there. But, I don't know, it kind of, like, disassociates, like, the value of the money that you have. Like, oh, I have a thousand ETH, which I know is a lot of money. But, you don't really know, that. I don't know, it kind of eliminates the, the, um, pain of paying and, like, the pain of knowing, oh no, this is how much money I have. I don't know. Of course, those who put all of their eggs in the Minecraft NFTs basket were none too pleased by Microsoft, Xbox, and Mojang's announcement. <laughs> Here's something that was tweeted by a reporter. If you, did, if you actually bag, if, if you're actually, like, putting all your, uh, like, actually investing into, like, Minecraft NFTs, you're a clown. You're a clown. You deserve to have your money stolen, dude. And where they make a stand and say it's not over, here are our plans for the future, where they castigate Microsoft for being anti-creator and a bunch of ridiculous <laughs> stuff. The, this decision completely disrupted emerging Web3 based game platforms built on top of it like NFT Worlds. This is copium. This is this is what copium looks like. Web3 technologies could positively bring to existing and new games. Wait, at what? Scale. They do realize that. Like what? Everything described here, the stuff that they have allegedly made. Wait, 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 wait. NFT was gave the world a vision of what Web3 technologies could possibly break to an existing and new games at scale. This is like saying, um, our product is very good and not even giving people why it's good. It's not telling you what, what they do, what they improve, what is different about this project. They're not telling anything about the thing. They're like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Our project is very good. All right. Our project is fantastic all right it's insane uh what what makes it so insane and fantastic um uh the, the, i don't know uh it it, it it's just it it, 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 it it, it, it just is, you know? You know ah. News Microsoft, Mojang, and Minecraft have signaled they have no regard for creators, builders, and players if at any moment a new idea or vision conflicts with any internal politics or opinions of their power holding minority. What? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Microsoft, Mojang, and Minecraft just signaled they have no regard for creators, builders, and players if at any moment a new idea or vision conflicts with any internal politics or opinions of their power holding major minority or whatever that doesn't make any sense minecraft does empower builders and players look at hypixel the biggest server on minecraft it has fifty thousand people on at any time of day at least all right that is that went from being like a a small group of map developers modders to like being the biggest server in Minecraft, hosting very popular Minecraft mini games like Hypixel, Skyblock, and Bed Wars, which a huge majority of the Minecraft community watch Hypixel, Skyblock, Bed Wars, Sky Wars, whatever. If that isn't empowering the community, I don't know what is, dude. They continue this things and feels like a violation of the true creative spirit Minecraft <laughs> is supposed to embody and enable. Who are you kidding here? Minecraft. <laughs> How is this a violation of the true creative spirit? Oh my god, dude. Wow. Wow, dude. How is that a violation of the true creative spirit Minecraft was supposed to embody and enable? How are you this dumb? How are you this stupid to not realize what- 
They, okay, you know what? These guys know exactly what they're doing. They're just trying to get the public on their side. For many, this would be the end, but not for us. The statement that extrapolates on what they mean. <laughs> what, the, what, what am I watching? Is this a declaration of war? We will fight against the evil corporations. Oh, this is 1985. And today, we're going to declare war on Microsoft for not allowing us to scam basically everybody who looks in our eyes. So here is our declaration of war. We are not stopping. Ownable and enjoyable player experience or playing experience, best this of all, will be completely untethered from the policy enforcement Microsoft and Mojang have over Minecraft. We truly become our own open game and platform. This game is going to be a scam. Here's an especially revealing quote. <laughs> we are fighting for a future with a player-owned and operated economy where all participants oh, benefit from contributions just, to Oh, my God, they self-reported. They just self-reported right there. Oh, they self-reported. Oh, my.